All right, it's going to be a great weekend. Yes, Renee Danino from the River 105.9 is here, and she's telling us all that's going on in this first weekend of October. Wow. I, I mean, I, I thought it was Labor Day. Oh, really? But I guess that passed, right? Yeah, now no, it's now it's October. Exactly. Welcome to the fall, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Um, so listen, it is going to be a great weekend in Connecticut. October is filled with Halloween movies, thrills, fairs, and music. Let's bring on the movies first. Venom. <laughs> Tom Hardy returns to the big screen as the lethal protector of Venom, one of the Marvel's greatest and most complex characters. This is directed by Andy Serkis. The film also stars Michelle Williams, Naomi Harris, and Woody Harrelson in the role of the villain Cletus Cassidy, Carnage. We're not going to show you this because... It's because we, none of it is arable. <laughs> I think Carnage should be like a, a, a little, you know, hint that a we're not going to show this. So yeah, that, exactly. that film may not be for everybody, but this one is for all ages. Everyone's favorite spooky family is back. The, the Adams anime. Family. All right, well, anyway, you get it. The animated comedy sequel, The Adams Family 2, is all new. Uh, you can find Morticia and Gomez distraught but their children are growing up too fast. You can relate to this, Kara, right? And to reclaim their bond, they decide to cram Wednesday, Pugsley, Uncle Fester, and the crew into a haunted camper to take a trip around America. I mean, what could go wrong for one last miserable family vacation? Let's take a look. Hey, you kids, it's dinner time. Mm. Ah! Dinner time, my favorite nighttime meal. Ah! Ow, ow, ow. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why does nobody come in through the front door? Dearest mother and father, we will not be attending this evening's ritual mastication. What? They're both growing up so fast, they wouldn't be caught dead with their parents. <gasps> Wait a minute. What? I've got it, Tish. It's cute. I can't wait to see it. So uh, it is in theaters this weekend. It's also on some streaming services. Okay. It's sure to be a busy fall weekend here in Connecticut. Scott, we are counting on you for some good fall weather. I think we're going to come through. Thumbs up for that. Here are a few things to check out. Now, the Big E wraps this weekend. I can't with it's, it's going to be over. Three weeks, right? And it's finally done. And the music acts to wrap it up are great. The Goo Goo Dolls are tonight. And Sunday, it wraps up with classic rockers, Sticks. Wow. Can you believe that? And it's here, the Southington Apple Harvest Festival, now through October 10th. Wow. The award-winning festival and those apple fritters will be taken over downtown Southington. Mm. Uh, oh, my gosh, for two full... Is, can we fritters. just have a moment of, for apple fritters? Oh, my mm. gosh. You know what, Jamie? Today's also National Apple Fritter Day, if you want to make those uh, when we finish the show here today. Anyway, it takes place over two weekends, free admission, entertainment, and parking in downtown Southington. And the festival's highlights, of course, include the parade, carnival contests, live entertainment, crafts, and delicious food, all during the height of New England's spectacular fall foliage. All right. Yep. Now this weekend, it is the 164th annual Harwinton Fair wow. at the fairgrounds. I know, 164 years. That's a lot of years. That's a long time for a fair. And there's a lot of exciting events and scheduled activities for the fair, including antique tractor pools, horse events, wood chopping, animal exhibits, live entertainment, and more. And it also features amazing vendors. It will have an agricultural display, kids' activities, and so much more. With a concert to uh, wrap it up this Sunday, with Connecticut's own and American Idol, Nick Fradiani. That's Carol, awesome. We were just talking about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to be performing on Sunday. Also, Saturday, you can start your day at Goodwin University in East Hartford to kick off a month-long awareness campaign with the Interval House. Uh, they're going to have special walks October 2nd, 9th, and 16th for the Jennifer Farber Dulos Memorial Walks to End Domestic Violence, mm. taking place across uh, Connecticut. So put on your purple and, and get ready to step out to honor survivors and remember those lost to domestic violence. Uh, right? That's yeah, I'll be mean. there at Elizabeth Park on the 16th, so people can join Dennis and I. There will be. I'm seeing that one. Oh, wonderful. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Hopefully you can come off there to kick it off. It's so, so important to register. Visit intervalhousect.org. All right, people and pets, you know, I got to throw that in there. Uh, tomorrow at noon, you can join DeSopo Funeral Chapel in Weathersfield. Uh, they're going to be doing an animal pet blessing. This is going to be a fun oh, event. So you so can get, cute. yeah, bring your dog. Everybody has to be on a leash, though, even your cats. 
So I don't know. I don't know, Scott, how that works for a yeah, that's, she's... <laughs> that's not going to work. <laughs> but this is all, of course, in honor of patron saint of the, the pets, St. Francis of Assisi. There's going to be a short outdoor ceremony taking place at the uh, funeral chapel. And there's also going to be a collection of pet food for the Holy Trinity Church of Hartford for their pet initiative. So come on down, bring some pet uh, food and supplies and get your pets blessed. Aww. Also Saturday, it's the 39th annual Old Weathersfield Arts and Crafts Fair. It's put on by the Weathersfield Historical society taking place all through downtown and in old Weathersfield. You can stroll booth to booth and meet a variety of crafts and it's just another wonderful way to spend your some you know time outside for the first weekend of October. Yeah, thank right. you Renee. Thank